Okay, I've retooled the uh, graphics somewhat. Hopefully the performance is going to be better because, let's be real, what good is a game that looks great if it stutters like a maniac. Um, let's see, is there anyone else here we should talk to? Oh, Maul. Hello there. Your move, Maul. Oh. You trapped me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your mistra, or come for my Cyric. What's going on here? Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's square now, Chief? Say, do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. Always laid a fine trap for you, Mole. It looks to me like his Cyric could be dethroned. Gil's right, put pressure on him, attack the pieces in front of his Cyric, fall back, protect your queen above everything else. You shouldn't be playing games with this man, he's a devil. Sorry kid, I've never played Landsboard. Um, we could try that. Or we should, or we could tell him that uh, Gale is right. I mean, Gale is probably right. Or was it his insight that failed? Maybe it was his insight, uh, insight and not mine. I'm not sure. Do we have a log? Uh, it doesn't tell me whose insight failed. Okay. Sure. <laughs> there we go. Well done, kid. How's that for Callum Sham rolls? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? I don't recommend it. What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Don't be weird, dude, okay? Please let me smack this creep. She cheated, of course, but that's half her charm. You're being real creepy, you know that? Uh, and what is the other half? Is that why you're here, to play games? Just bugger off back to hell, would you? Um, is that why you're here? To play the game. The vast lance board of souls. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Besides, I do enjoy being in this neighborhood again. It has such a rich history of abject tragedy. And tragedy, my friend. <laughs> well, there's my bread and bloody butter. So what is this region's history of regret? Uh, just stay away from Molly here. Yeah? Um, so what's this... Re mm, does this option stay open if we ask that? I'm gonna ask this first. Why spoil it? It's all out there waiting to be discovered. You never know what you might find if you just dig a little deeper. Just stay away. She won. She has a taste for it now. <laughs> She'll be the one who comes to me. But enough about my lesser pursuits. Why bother with trifles when I'm in the illustrious presence of my very favorite client? Tell me, oh apple of my eye, how have you been? You don't have any gills to get green around yet, but you do look a little worse for wear in this light. 
If you're still offering solutions, I'm all ears. You know I've never... Uh, you know, I've never been better. Leave me alone, Hellspawn. I've never been better. Splendid. And yet, I have this picture in my head of you tossing and turning in the middle of the night, thinking strange things, dreaming strange dreams. And there's this little voice inside of you asking, is this my will? Or is it the worms? But you have no answer and no way of knowing. The good thing is, though, there's only one little voice you really should listen to. Mine. See you soon. What a sleazy man. Unpleasant. Another folk hero inspiration? And Will wants to talk. Okay, we can do that. I'm quickly gonna let the graphics, you know, happen again. There we go. Will is inspired. Some more XP. Now let's talk to him. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Mm, Raphael's angling for the girl's soul. Mole's an obstinate one. Uh, if she's of a mind to team up with Raphael, there's no changing it. Uh, we need to warn her away from Raphael before it's too late. Um, if the bargain's a good one, she should take it. Uh, she'll make the right decision, you'll see. Um, I think, honestly, given how, um, you know, kind of rebellious she is, I think, like, a warning of danger isn't really gonna stop her. I think she's, in the end, not gonna listen to the guy. She'll make the right decision. I think she will. If not... Well, you've seen what happens when a bound soul reaches for freedom. I can't imagine what cruel penance Mole would pay if she were ever to resist that fell bastard. Uh, you should get out of this pact. Uh, go to camp and wait for me there. Okay, so that's just the basic options there. Uh, Gale is inspired. Okay. That's cool. Uh, some more inspiration for everybody. That's always good to see. Premium trinkets and doodars. Was that Mattis? Mm. You're the one who's selling stuff. Am I gonna Seems get someone's been robbed again? Them. Welcome to our humble. Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I uh, yeah. I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. <clears throat> but if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam. We were all like, whoa. Ever heard of the Blade of Frontiers, kid? If you like monster smashing, you might be a fan of his work. Who's that? <laughs> a lovely chap. Didn't kick ass in the Blood War. But that's neither here nor there. That's true. But he never got kidnapped by a devil either. Uh, huh? <laughs> Sorry, kid. Look, forget about us big grudges and bruises. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case... Want to buy a lucky ring I found? Don't do it. <laughs> ah, nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. Uh, scamming with the greats? What kind of advice is that? Uh, kid really looks up to you. That's nice to see. Um, you were too nice to the little runt. Uh, really looks up to you. That's nice to see. It is, isn't it? <sighs> Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. All right. Clear, Mom. Now Check it out. Oh. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Oh yeah, right. We wanted to buy something. Uh, you got any stock for an extra special customer like me? Um, yours is the first happy face I've seen in a good while. Uh, I mean, Karlak is with us and she's always, um, you know, she always at least seems in a good mood. 
Uh, you got any stock for an extra special customer like me? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me, and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack -a day I'm sure you say that to every customer. Um, Deception, Maul said I could have it. Um, if it was worth any coin, do you think Maul would have given it to you? Um, or take good care of that key. Yeah, let's try it. Friends. There we go. We just have to roll a seven. Okay, that works. There we go. I mean, she scammed us, we scam her. I think that's a fair trade-off. No, she didn't. Uh, <laughs> deception, yes, she did. Charisma, yeah, uh, intimidation. Uh, give it or I'm telling Maul on you. Rogue, persuasion. Look, give it to me now or I steal it later. The former is less embarrassing. Sure, let's try that. That's fun enough. We just have to get a 6 with a plus 7 bonus and 2 dice to roll. So unless we roll 2 critical failures, uh, we got that. Oh, that was a bad roll, but luckily we are good at this. We are good at this. There we go. Make that an 11 and that's enough. Ugh, fine. There we go. The, have a gander at the finest stop. The tower shaped key. All right. Now let's see. We should go upstairs, we've been told. Could the map get a little less blurry, please? That would be nice. I guess we'll see. What's behind this door? Who are those? Premium Fist Rahim. Fist uh, Jela. Okay, let's take a look. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick save. Because quite frankly, the frame rate was. The frame rate is buckling. So, uh. It's still not looking too great. Still stumbling. Well, let's let's talk to Councillor uh, Floric. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. Floric. Will? Gods, please, no. The Blade of Frontiers was supposed to be my secret weapon. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers? Not yet. Uh, what's with the fellow in the cot? Uh, are the flaming fists just going to stand around here? I have no intention of heading there. Uh, not yet. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. Okay. Do that, please. <laughs> Some reinforcements the would be nice. The council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Holy shit. That's my old boss. 
The guy who sold me to Zariel. Gortash, as in Enver Gortash. Last I knew, he was a minor player in city affairs. Okay. A lot's changed since you left Baldur's Gate, Will. Gortash has gained considerable influence since then. Um, what are the Steel Watch? You're leaving while well, Duke Ravengard is still in uh, is still captive in Moonrise. Who is Lord Gortash? How do you expect to reach Baldur's Gate? Um, what are the Steel Watch? The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. So, Lord drones, Gortash okay. had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Ketherick throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. That Don't would be unfortunate. count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. Okay, now, who is this guy? Art Kulak, Catatonic. Do we have any way of dealing with that? And Kalak wants to talk. We'll do that in a second. Flame Color. That's your name, isn't it? Art Color? I'm Fistula. You, sir. One of our own's been taken. A grand duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it or where he came from. Okay, let's try to wake him up, maybe. Do we have any options this there? This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. Um, that name he mentioned, uh, Thaniel. Who is that? Uh, can he hear you? What's wrong with him? Let me have a look at him. That song, have you heard it before? Um, the name he mentioned, Thaniel. Who is that? No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. Okay. Uh, can he hear you? You hear me, don't you, sir? You might not be able to answer, but you hear me. All right. Um, that song, have you heard it before? No, not till I met Art, anyway. It seems to be all he remembers. All right. Um, did you already check for personal effects? This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. Um, I'll see what I can discover. Thank you. One letter. Is that in your pocket, sir? Excuse me. What? 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 What pocket? Is. Is there anything in someone's pocket that showed up now because of that, or or did you just uh, did you just mean the uh, letter? Let's take a look at the inventory. Uh, where's the new letter we got? 
No, that's the missive from Moonrise. One letter. Where is it? Oh, right up here. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look. Assignee, Art Kular, Rank Flame. Objective, to obtain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers and its environs. Headed by uh, Catherick Thorm of the region's an, uh, ancestral Thorm family. Orders, take lodging in the Last Light Inn and begin investigation in the local house of healing. Reports indicate corruption, but no corroboration has yet been obtained. Note, the region's Thorm family are long-standing devotees of Saloon, but rumors indicate a Sharon enclave might be gaining momentum. Investigate and report. Signed, Grand Duke Elton. Okay. Let's take a look at the journal for the quest. Come on now. There we go. Um, let's see. Wake up, Art Kula. Uh, we found Art's last orders to investigate the House of Healing. If we follow in his footsteps, we might learn more about him. Okay. So we're gonna go to the House of Healing at some point. Hopefully to find out more. Karlak, what do you have to say? The Gortash is a lord now. I'd like to clap eyes on this steel watch of his. Okay. You already know the story. I was Gortash's bodyguard, loyal as they come, when he made the deal with Zariel. She got a test subject for her infernal engine. I never found out what he got. Probably some stuff for the steel watch, would be my guess. This is the kind of man who gets a title. Authority makes me sick. Damn right. Uh, me too. A man like that has no place in power. Whatever his steel, uh, whatever this steel watch is, it must be quite impressive. We'll make him answer for what he did to you as soon as we get to the city. Um, yeah, he has no place in power. No, but they always seem to get it, don't they? Sadly, yeah. All right. They are dead. Now let's take a look around. Oof, like the frame rate is really, right it, it's really breaking right now. I think I might have to call it a day. I mean, I was only planning on recording like two episodes anyways, just to um, bridge the gap over the weekend. Um, do you have anything to say? Aubrey? An extra blade could be the difference between rescuing Duke Ravenguard or losing him forever. I hope you'll help us. I'll try. Okay. Let's keep going. Man, I really need to find a way to make this game run better. I mean, it ran pretty damn well for a long time. But now... Um, scroll of Crown of Madness. I'll take it. There we go. Uh, yeah, but right now, I don't know why, but it's, it's not, you know, it's not running well. Um, I'm gonna try to find something out uh, over the weekend, even though I'm, I'm kind of busy there. But I guess we'll see. Good. We'll leave soon. We don't want any surprises. Okay, let's just quickly walk upstairs still. Like, still a little yes. time. What's that? Is that a... His Majesty. Karlak, you know what to do. Well, well, well. Talk to His Majesty, please. Hiss. I say hiss. Easy, Kitty. I mean you no harm. What's got your whiskers in a twist or intimidation hiss? Um, what's got your whiskers in a twist? This is my territory and you're in it. 
Uh, apologies, I'll keep my distance. My intentions are pure. I only wanted to admire you up close. I see your point. Uh, my intentions are pure. Mm, I'll allow it. Um, quite the specimen you are. How did you come to this place? I slinked, of course. Quietly admire the cat. Uh, you seem like someone who knows uh, what he's about. Heard anything interesting around here? Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. Do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I. Disgraceful. Let's quietly admire the cat for a little You've bit. enough. Now go. Quickly. Yes. Alright, His Majesty, let's leave. Can we find some milk somewhere? Those probably don't contain milk. You wouldn't store milk in barrels like that. Okay, let me look at the time real quick. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it here. We're gonna walk upstairs next time. And I will see you then. And maybe we can try to find some milk for His Majesty. But I guess we'll see. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.